It should have been okay. It should have been. Damn it, this doesn't make any sense. Why he suffered a mental shutdown is one thing, but what are we supposed to do from here on out? On your feet, inmate. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. I know this, of course. However, what of the general public? It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed, though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. All right. We shall meet again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world. Is that true? Listen this time, okay? <sighs> we haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. <sighs> we were hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking? Huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. The principal? No one told me about that.
So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. <sighs> you don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but with my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. All right. But with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... Hmm? What's the matter? <gasps> Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? Hey, hey, can, can you, you hear, hear me? me? You need to stay focused. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. If what you're saying is true, you must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, let's move on. At last we arrive at your most recent crime. You know what I mean, don't you? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sai Nijima. Myself. Now, explain everything to me. It looks like Haru is managing. Somehow. All right. Let's meet up with everyone after school. With this, preparations are finally... The public has praised them as allies of justice before they strike them back to the ground. Now then, she'll be next. Yes, I've already spoken to Human Resources about it. It will be a heavy responsibility, 
but I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. The culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time. <laughs> Indeed, they'll become the criminals we've set them up to be, just as you instructed. Oh, damn loud. Hmm? Where's Haru? She's the one that called us, so she'll show up eventually. Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? What's up? People are posting that we killed President Okumura. So it's begun already. What? Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. Still! They were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers? What a lightning fast change of attitude. They don't know a damn thing about our situation. Calm down. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. But there's no way to vindicate ourselves. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. I'm the one who asked you all to make time for me, too. My condolences. Must be rough. I'm okay now. Um, I called everyone together because there was something worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday, a public prosecutor came to my home. Um, it was a woman named Nijima-san. That's... I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Considering that this was right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. It's the first I've heard of it! Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if... Things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. What do you mean? Perhaps... We may have been set up by the real culprit. For real? That could be. Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. Can we assume we've been set up, though? We don't even know their objective. What else are we supposed to do, then? All calm down for a moment. From what Haru said, even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? <sighs> I envy you, Futaba. Futaba? Hmm? Got something on my mind. Gonna go home and look into it. I wonder what that could be. At any rate, we need to behave and not draw attention to ourselves. Understood? Real?
question to the end. Where have I Mishima is a bit narrow sighted, but he's a good person deep down. We can't betray him. That girl, worrying about others even at a time like this. Impossible.
What do you want? Hello? Let us be off. I still have much to learn, but I finally painted something that I can be satisfied with. Yes, this is the true heart of humanity. The title is Desire and Hope. What do you think? Well, I added aspects that were previously lacking. This light is all of you. The title lists hope, but in my mind, it's a much more concrete thing. I can't believe I didn't realize that until now. You. It's a good painting. Huh? It's not trying to be eccentric for the sake of being eccentric, like the last time. To think the same painting can change this much. So this is the answer you've come up with. It is. Desire and hope, I see. Beauty and ugliness. Humans are creatures that possess both. It seems you understand that. What are you playing at? I apologize, although my intent was to encourage you. It was rather crude. Still, I believe that this ploy needed to be done in order to ignite your competitive spirit. But why would you do that? 
what's your objective? I wanted to do something for you as another person who is free from Matarame's chains. That's all. Huh? Matarame held a grudge against me for supposedly stealing his customers from him. To start, I couldn't get anyone to rent me space for exhibits. He caused me no end of hardship. So that's why. Yes, the heart of man is painted with desire, even if it's coated entirely in black at times. However, it seems you have the strength to not look away from it, and chose to stand up against it. If only he had your strength. Matarame and I go back a long way. First as classmates, then as teachers at the same art school. He used to have a noble spirit. Said he wanted to aim for the top of the art world one day. Huh? But in the end, even the art world has its share of politics. Those who are cunning win. Our hearts were stained black in that manner. But the human heart is a strange thing. It can't completely separate black from white. I was shocked when I heard that he took you in. He never liked children, you see. Oh? This happened just before we cut all ties from each other. But I got a call from him. He was panicking that nearby clinics were closed and that his kid had a fever. Sensei. Yeah. I don't want any more losers like me or misguided winners like him being born from this world. That's why I started this foundation. So how about it? Would you like our support? <laughs> Without the overbearing marketing production, of course. It's a truly kind offer. Thank you for your generosity. However, I must respectfully decline. Huh. What makes you say that? I am not Madarame. I won't be stained by desire. After all, I can see hope. If I am lost, they will extend their hands. If I am wrong, they will chastise me. As long as I have my rays of hope to guide me, I will be fine. Ha! <laughs> Madarame really did have a good eye. <laughs> what a strange man. It is a tad wasteful of me to decline. Still, I believe it's for the best. I feel contradictory, but that's the human heart, correct? <sighs> Interesting. That's exactly what I should be painting. It must have been troublesome dealing with me, but for some reason, I knew that you wouldn't abandon me until everything was said and done. Thank you, my friend. shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Emperor, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Persona within me has awakened to a new power. All right. Now that I'm out of my slump, I need to make up for the time I wasn't able to paint. I reiterate my promise to you. I'll extend my assistance to you, should you ever stumble. Now then, shall we go? In order for me to learn more about the heart, we need to work hard on our thief business. Yo. Both face and mind. 
All right then.